Hi art students, it's time for art and let's start off with Godzilla of the week. Today, uh, I don't have a Godzilla monster per se, but he's very similar. This is an Ultraman monster and he's part of my model collection and he's about the same size. So this is an Ultraman monster and this guy's name is Baltan. And he was designed by the same Godzilla designer back in the day, I forgot his name. But he did the Godzilla movies, and then he also did a TV show called Ultraman, and Ultraman became super popular back in like 19, in the 60s. So like, that's like 60 years ago, and uh, it was a really popular show back in the day because um, they didn't have a lot of color television, like it was black and white back then, and this was like one of the first color shows for kids and they're big monsters and they're fighting so you can imagine how awesome this was back in the 60s we didn't have fancy computer animation you can see his shoes you can totally tell it's a, it was a guy in a suit so he's like he's got like this leotard on he's got this big helmet on and these big like pincher arms but he was a pretty popular monster and he fought Ultraman so that's it he's got this guy's name is Baltan he's a model and I really like the series, that's why I got him. Oh, he's pretty cool. Not as cool as Godzilla. But I'm running out of Godzillas. Okay, so let's get on to the art portion of the video. Hi, lower multi-age students. Today we're going to finish up our um, hot chocolate. And let's see. This is what we did last time. Remember last time we did our... Um, we did a pattern on our, this is going to be our tablecloth, and we did a pattern on our background. And we're going to glue those um, together, but maybe not yet, because we have to glue our hot chocolate cup. Um, first, we have to draw it. So we have one extra paper. Hopefully, you didn't use it on accident. It's a pattern paper, and your pattern may look different than mine. This is like a polka dot pattern, like a weird, look weird. So it's a pattern. And we're going to draw a hot chocolate cup on this paper. Then we're going to cut it out and we're going to glue it on our background. Okay, so, okay, here we go. So how do we, how do we draw a coffee cup <laughs> or a hot chocolate cup? Well, you can take um, one of your oil pastels or if you want you, um, and you have a pencil at home, you could use maybe a pencil. It doesn't have, you have to use the oil, um, you have to use a, um, a pastel to kind of color the inside of it but if you want it it's hard to draw with this thing so if you want to draw with a pencil and you can draw lightly maybe a parent can help you it might be a little easier I'm gonna just use my oil pastel because um, it'll be easier for you to see okay so when we draw a hot chocolate cup the first thing we want to draw is an oval and an oval can be kind of hard to draw so how do you draw an oval? Well, I'm going to, I'll show you. Maybe start, I'm going to start here at the bottom middle and I'm going to go here and it gets real thin and then it gets wider, right? And then, and then it's kind of like that. That wasn't perfect. You're like, that's pretty good. Hey, Mr. Smith, don't you want to make it really complicated? Of, of course I do. But first, just draw it simply like that. Let's talk about the technicalities of drawing an, an, uh, an ellipse. Now, if you're using a pencil, you might do something like this. This might help you draw an oval. You can draw a line, right? And then these are the endpoints, right? Maybe, maybe a, a, this can help a parent help you. And if, and if not, don't worry about it. Just do it the way I just did it, right? Now, you're going to draw a little plus. But the plus, it's in the middle. It's not, as, it's not like the same. It's like a little thinner. And so what you can do is you can use this to help you draw an oval more act because it's hard to draw an oval. So watch, I can kind of like, I can kind of bend this to kind of connect there and then it kind of comes down and then it comes around here and connects here and then it kind of goes back. So that might help you, it might be kind of complicated to do it this way, but that may help you draw an oval. Notice how it's not totally perfect, but then I can always like, try to make it look a little better. Like I can kind of curve it a little more here. I don't know. And then I can erase this. 
So that's just where you kind of pre-measure. You have like a distance and then you have the center, but it's not as far, right? And then you just connect them. That's kind of hard. <laughs> that's complicated. So if you don't want to do that, you can just try to draw it. It's kind of hard. It's hard to draw though. It's like a, it's like an oval. You can just draw it like that too. Whatever works. I just wanted to show you that that trick. If it's too hard, don't worry about it. Okay, so we have an oval. Ta-da! Now what we want to do is we want to draw our cup. So we're going to draw our lines that go down. So we're going to go line, not too far down. Let's see. Maybe a little further. Ooh, I forgot to tell you, leave some space for your handle. I didn't leave very much space for my handle. I didn't leave very much space. Hopefully you have some space. So I kind of drew these lines down. They're about the same length, right? They're about the same length, okay? Now here's the thing. The bottom of the cup, it's not straight across. It curves kind of like this, um, the whatever, the, the lip of the cup, right? So this, this kind of curves down, right? And so you're going to curve this to kind of match that. So watch, I'm going to go just going to round it and come back up. And that looks like a can or a cup, right? So let's go back to my complicated draw. So that's the easy way to do it. So just do it the easy way if you don't want to do it the complicated way. The complicated way is this. I, I did my, like I did my thing, right, where I divided it. You don't have to do it this way. You can just draw it simply. I just want to kind of give you this information. You could do kind of the same thing right here. You can kind of draw your line. Here, well, I did, I'll did. i do a little darker, but you want to draw it lightly. And then you have this line here, right? But you're not going to do that part. You're only going to do this bottom part. So like you know that this is going to curve and touch here, and then it's going to curve back and go there. But then you have to erase all this. So here, I'll show you. So you erase, because you only need that one line. So that may help you. If not, if that's too complicated, don't worry about it. Just, just draw it. <laughs> but see how that is, give, gives me a nice curve? I can erase these too. That's optional. That's like, you know, I just drew it. It was round, right? That's all you need to do. Okay. <laughs> There's not a lot of pattern. I hope, hopefully your pattern was more detailed than this. I just have a couple spots here and there. It's not very much of a pattern. Okay. Well now we want to have like a, a handle for our uh, cup. And so it's just going to be like, kind of like a big C, almost like a squared off C. It's like this, watch. It's kind of like a, it's a, it's a backward C, but it's kind of, it's kind of squared off a little. It's like, it's not, it's not perfectly a circle. Although if you did do a circle, that's okay. Like if you did like a half circle, that's fine. It's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a big rounded C, but it's going the wrong way. Wow. I guess that's nothing like a C. Now I want to draw this same shape on the inside, but smaller, right? So let's see. There. And that's it. So I drew my cup. Amazing. Right? Now let's add a little bit of shading um, on the inside of our cup. It would be a little darker. So like I gave you guys colors. So you can just pick any color you want. Um, the problem is, see, I have a brown. The brown works really well with this yellow paper. Um, if you have a brown, I don't think you have a brown. Maybe you want to pick a color that might be darker a darker vert that might look good with this. It doesn't actually, it doesn't really matter that much, but we do want to add a little bit of shading. So how are we going to add a little bit of shading? We're going to do it lightly. Okay. So we're going to go, um, lightly and we're going to kind of follow that curve and kind of curve around, but we're only going to kind of going to go halfway like this. And it's going to kind of stop right here lightly. And then I'm going to kind of, uh, Ugh. See, I'm trying to get, I want to get that part. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> I missed it. Okay. So that way it looks like this area is in shadow a little bit. And then maybe add a, a couple lines over here. But like, see how like I'm barely holding this thing? Barely. That's, you know, that's, that's a very hard thing for a young student to do. Like to barely hold it. Like you're like, argh, like you hold it and you're argh, like trying to do it real hard. That's super hard to do. So give that a try. You can even practice on another piece of paper. Here, here's my here's my practice paper. It's like this, like practice going real lightly. 
Notice how I'm holding it too. I'm not holding it like a pencil. I'm holding it. I don't, I don't remember if I told you how to do this. I'm holding it with like my thumb. Again, this is a hard thing to do for like a kindergarten. So, or a younger student. So just, but I'm barely going and I'm using my whole arm instead of my wrist. That is super hard. That's like super hard art. Give it a try. If it doesn't work, don't worry about it. I just want to expose you to this way. And so it's very light. This, watch, I'll show you normal. That's normal. See how dark that is compared to this? So light is just like, da, 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 like, you can go back and forth, but I'm barely, I'm like barely holding this thing. So if this didn't work, parents, don't worry about it. It's all good. I just want to, I just want to expose you students just to these different techniques. And then as we go through the years and get older, then you'll master this. This is something for, that's hard to do. That's for older kids. Although, like I said, I, I forget, I got different ages. So like a third grader might be able to do that second or third grader, but give it a try. Heck. Just challenge accepted, uh, you know, younger students. Okay, here we go. So lightly. Now, what we want to do is this should be the light brown too. We just want to add a little bit of uh, dark on this side. So watch. Now I am going to press down kind of harder. So I'm going to go press down a little. Not super hard. But this is going to be more solid. And so that kind of feels like that's shadowy. That's like darker. So there's two steps. I got like, this is the soft and then I did the dark, but I only went like halfway so that it has like a step. It kind of, it, uh, well, they call it a grade gradation where it's like darker and then it goes to light, like it changes. So eh, whatever, but that's it. That looks pretty good, huh? Now let's go for a, uh, let's go for broke here. Let's, let's try to get, um, put a little bit of shading on the side of the cup. So again, we're going to do super light. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. See, I'm like, notice how they're like almost little lines, but they're kind of close together. As long as they're close together, there. So it's a little bit of a shadow. If I hold it far away, it kind of blends together. And then we want a little bit of a shadow in here too. Let's see, a little bit of a shadow on this part. We want a little bit of a shadow here. <laughs> you're like, whoa, you're going too fast, Mr. Smith. Just pause it. You can pause the video. A little bit of a shadow there. And then there's going to be a little bit of a shadow here. I'm like barely, I'm barely holding this thing. And then a little bit of a shadow on the bottom here. So it's kind of like this. Just a little bit, just a little bit, barely doing it. If it didn't work perfectly, don't worry about it. It's just, like I said, I want you to be kind of exposed to this kind of uh, shading and stuff like that. Notice how mine look, it'd be nicer if this was like super smooth and blendy. You can't really blend this stuff. You can't blend oil pastels very well. It, it just won't work. And notice how they're like little lines, but that's kind of okay. Um, when you look at it, I can't really, I can't hold it far away. But if you put it on a wall and walk far away, these little lines, they kind of blend together in your, in your mind. <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, it looks like a shadow, right? Okay. Anyways, we drew our cup. Don't worry if your cup isn't perfect. Hopefully it looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is um, we want to cut it out. So get a scissors. Here we go. I'm going to cut it out. Cut it out carefully. So let's see. I don't have very much space there. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, you can, you can cut, you can cut here and around, but I'm going to just cut around the whole shape first and then come back and cut these little parts. Sometimes, Sometimes it's easier to get those parts later, but you can cut out your, you can cut out your co uh, hot chocolate cup, however you like. I'm just, that's just my technique or trick. So I kind of cut it out. Now notice that I did, I didn't cut it all out, right? I just kind of like cut around it. So now it's usually for me, it's a little easier to go back. Now I'm going to very carefully try to cut this little extra piece off. That's the way I like to do it, but not always. I don't know. Like I said, you can cut out your hot chocolate cup however you like just as long as it's neat as neat as you can get it and then I'm gonna cut this down okay now here's the trick here's the trick you got to cut out this hole here 
<laughs> How are you going to do that? <laughs> There's a lot of different ways on how to cut out this hole. One way, um, let's see, how do they do it? I, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Sometimes they're like this. Sometimes they, um, and sometimes it works, but I don't, I, I don't recommend you do this. Don't do this. But you could fold it in half. Don't do this. And then you could just like cut here and then pull it out. But then you're going to have a big fold on your coffee cup. That's no good. So I don't recommend that. Another thing you could do, and this is super dangerous, don't do this, is um, like a parent would maybe do this. You could like maybe try to poke very care. Like you don't do this. Your parent does this, right? So don't do this. You can get hurt. But you got to kind of poke a little hole. And then once you have your little hole, you can kind of cut this out, right? You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. But, dude, you could poke yourself. So don't do that. <laughs> you could have maybe a mom or dad do that or whoever's with you. <laughs> Older brother. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to say to do. Watch this. Normally, you don't do this. But watch what I'm going to do. I'm just, I'm not going to cut this part. I'm going to cut this part and I'm going to cut it out. And then, because I'm going to glue this all down anyway. So watch, watch me carefully. Watch. I'm going to cut here. But I'm going to stop right here. Here, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to cut the whole handle off. I'm just going to cut in here. Again, if you want to have a parent help you with this, go for it. You know, it's okay. It's not cheating or anything. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut around here. The trick is not to cut this, not to cut this part. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Whoop. Oop, I didn't get it. Let's see. Oh, I got a couple more. See, I'm trying to be super careful because I don't want to cut off. Now, even if you did, don't do it. But even if you did cut this part off, you can still glue it right next to it, right? So when I glue it, it's just I'm just going to glue it like this, and it'll be fine. I like my cup. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. Now it is time. Up. There's not a lot of patterns on this. I hope you got a better pattern than I did. My pattern is not very cool. But it's okay. I mean, you know. You know, if you don't like your pattern on your cup, like if you have a pattern like this, you could draw a pattern. I mean, do whatever you like with that. I mean, okay, but anyways, I want to glue my tablecloth down. So I have some glue. Um, maybe have a parent help you. Um, glue stick would probably work really well. But let me show you a trick on gluing. The trick on gluing is dot, dot, not a lot. I'm not using dots, but what, I'm trying not to use a lot of glue. You want to maybe have a little bit of glue in the center. But watch this. See how it's kind of lumpy here? That's no good. That might make a bump. So you can use the side of your orange glue tip and just kind of like, kind of smear it around a little bit. That way it won't be so lumpy. So I'm gonna kind of smear that around. That's what I like to do. Um, the trick is not a lot of glue. So when they say dot, dot, not a lot, it's like this, dot, dot, dot. Instead of like, bleh, like a lot, don't do that. And you're like, oh, that was funny. I wanna do that now because Mr. Smith made that fun. No, don't do that. It's only funny when Mr. Smith does it. So see how barely any glue I'm using? If you have a parent with you, they can help you not use a lot of glue. Okay, I'm ready to glue this thing down. Enough talk about glue. You guys are, you're a multi-age student, so you guys are, usually you're a little more careful. <laughs> I have full confidence in you. Notice I'm pressing down. I'm not trying to like smear it because I might smear my oil pastel, so I'm trying to be kind of careful about that. All right, now it's time to glue my cup. Now, you don't want your cup to be on top like that. <laughs> you want it to be kind of on your um, tablecloth, like like that. That way it looks three-dimensional, right? Because it's on the table. Now, this looks kind of flat. This looks flat. But when you overlap your coffee cup on there, it looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to glue it. So I'm going to some, put some glue... I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Remember, not too much glue. You could do the dot, dot, not a lot method if you want, or you can just not use a lot of glue like me. See how it's not very, there's not a lot. It's not a big, I'll show you what a lot is, but not here. I'll show you what not to do. And it's not funny, so don't, don't, uh, don't actually do it. Okay, here we go. Ooh. A glue stick works good too. But if you use a glue stick, try to get it, you know, in the corners and try to get, you know, so make sure there's enough. I'm using the orange tip to kind of um, kind of blend my glue so it's not like too much. I need a little bit more glue right here. 
All right, I'm gonna glue it down. Here we go. Remember, it's it's on the tablecloth. It's not like on the top of it. It's like, I guess that's like halfway down. It doesn't have to be exactly halfway down, but halfway down is pretty good, right? Okay, I'm gonna glue it down. Pressing down. That's kind of cool. I like all the different patterns and colors and textures. So that's pretty cool. So hopefully that worked out pretty good. The most important thing though, is that you put your name on the back. So make sure your name's on the back. Um, I know who your teacher is, <laughs> so that's all you have to put. Just put your name. And um, what you can do is just bring this to school so I can collect it and we're gonna mount it. We'll put like a border on it, it look nice. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too complicated. So, oh, well, let me just show you one more thing of what too much glue looks like. I think you already know what too much glue looks like. But here, I'll show you. I don't want to waste my glue. But like when you do like this, like that's, that's way too, look at that. Look at that. That's way too much glue. So like if you're just going to glue, like if you're, like you don't need that, right? So if you're just going to do a little bit of glue, it's just like now the dot, this is a small piece. So dot, dot, not a lot will work. I can go dot, 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 not a lot. I can just blend it. Perfecto. Look at that. But look at this. That is going to be a mess. Here, let me see what happens. It's going to it's going to slide around. Like look at this. It's going to be like that's way too much. You can tell. Like you don't need that much glue. This is going to be like Like look at that. So so try not to use too much glue. And I you 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 if you have a parent there helping you, I'm sure you'll you'll succeed. But that was it. That, yeah, I got glue all over me now. That was our project. Bring it to school. I hope you had fun. We'll start something um, new next week. And I hope I get... Hopefully you can come back to school someday and I can see you guys. Um, but anyways, I hope you had fun. And I will talk to you soon. So, see you later. See you next week. Bye.